everyone, I'm Brandy. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I'm to share with you guys my makeup collection. I'm going to show you my storage, my entire vanity setup, and the items that I have decluttered. If you missed my last video, please go watch that where I discuss my beauty budget and why I'm doing a budget to begin with so I can really focus on the items that I appreciate in my collection. So let's jump into my collection video. So everyone, this is my vanity setup. I have a Malm desk from Ikea that I have here. And this has the little pull-out drawer here. And I'm just gonna jump into what I have in my collection currently. So these are my face powders. I do have just a, a matte translucent setting powder, some Sephora powder, Clinique powder, this e.l.f. color correcting powder. And it didn't have space for this highlighter, but this is the new Amrezy highlighter. I got that for Christmas. So I had to just kind of shove that in here because as you can see, space is a little bit limited in this drawer. And then back here I have my single eyeshadows. These are all my singles and I have some sharpeners and some eye pencils from Laura Mercier and some Makeup Forever. And these are my like just random scissors that I use to cut things. And here I have my highlighters. I have all these little Becca highlighters. This is a Tarte Rainbow highlighter. This is the Too Faced Candlelight Glow Prismatic Amethyst by Becca. I didn't have space in my blush drawer for blushes, so I threw my rocketer in here. I have a little Cover Effects highlighter there. And we're on to blushes. So I have Nor NARS Orgasm. I have my Milani blushes here. This is a Tarte blush, and then I have my Butter Bronzer and a little Hoola Bronzer. I don't do a lot of bronzing, so I don't need many of those. And then here I have some more blushes. I have some two Hourglass blushes here. Uh, Positions Formula, a Tarte blush, Annabelle blush, a little Clinique bronzer blush thing, and I have my Dallas blush slash bronzer that some people use as a bronzer and a little this is a, actually this is an eyeshadow i really should put this in the eyeshadows but if it's there so that works for now next i have another I have a mark jacobs blush again it didn't fit over here so i had to kind of just make do with what i have and same for this this is a face powder it should go in my face powder section then i've got my small eyeshadow palettes. I have the Too Faced. This is the um, Tickle Peach. It's super cute. Tardis Pro to Glow. Pro to Go. The Smashbox Cover Shots. And the Tartlet Tees. And those fit there, so that's what they're there for. And I didn't have any space for this Tristique lip balm, so it kind of goes there. Next, I have, these are where all my eyeshadow palettes are kept. And they're just kind of stacked on top here. The Violet Boss, uh, like a boss. The Rainbow Palette. This is the, um, the Tarte Love Trust and Fairy Dust. And the Huda Beauty Ruby Obsessions. Then over here, I've got three Marc Jacobs palettes. Two Face palettes, Ginger Red Spice. Chocolate bonbons. And then back here, I've got all my Anastasia palettes. They're kind of just shoved in the back. Then really far in the back, I've got my Saint and Sinner palette. And I've got the two um, One Crime Venus 1 and 2. I've got the Becca Volcano Goddess. And the Emily Edits palette, which I'm going to do a video on soon. And for highlighters, I have this Afterglow palette. As you can see in this drawer, it is really difficult to get all the way in the back. So you have to be pretty mindful of the storage in this Ikea desk. But that's okay because, again, I don't want my collection to be so huge that I can't use anything. So Over here, I have just my loose powder that I use every day. This is the Marcel powder. I did this in my Canada Day. Get ready with me. I love this powder. My two Guerlain lipsticks. Just have them out there because they're really pretty to look at. These are my mascaras that I've been going through. I did a mascara challenge. I'm going to show you guys that update pretty soon here. I have my glow setter setting spray and then in these little drawers I have all my eye pencils and eyeliners so anything that goes in the eyes to line is in this drawer and I have a brow pencil. I only have one brow product if you can believe that. 
And these are all lip pencils and one little potted eyeliner and some eye primers. These are my foundations. All my foundations, my concealer, foundation, foundation, eye primer, primers, and just some little miscellaneous lipsticks that are small that I like to keep out. And I have some face brushes. These are all my face brushes. A couple of primer, I have a primer here and my Joe Fresh like tinted moisturizer. There's my mirror. Hi everybody. And I have my beauty sponges here. This is my Guerlain serum, which sometimes I use in the morning sparingly to set my face. My two primed and peachy primers. I have one in backup because I really, really love this. This is my eye pencils here. That's all of them there. And I have a little bottle of Caroline Herrera's perfume that I like to put my phone on. My Guerlain pearls and lipsticks. So I did have an overflow of lipsticks back over here. I had a whole different container with lipsticks in it. And I said, that's enough. I only need one container of lipsticks and that's where this comes in. So I have this little carousel. I got this at Amazon. So I will link that below if you guys are interested. Uh, I believe this holds 64 lipsticks. I have a couple of spots empty, which is great because I have some in my purse. So if it's perfectly, I have them in here by brand. I like to keep everything by brand because of the same size and such. I really should probably do it by color, but by brand works for me just fine. As far as the other containers go, these all came from the dollar store. Like the dollar store is a great place to get containers. Like super cheap, they're effective, they organize well, so I highly suggest that. And this mirror here just came from Ikea as well. Then up here, I have my little like makeup light that my husband did for me. And then I actually got this shelf at an antique store and I sanded it down and repainted it. I really liked it because it has like a gothic cathedral type style to it. And um, it holds all my perfumes and lotions. And that's what I got there. And speaking of antique store, the paper that's underneath this desk. So when you get the desk, it doesn't have anything underneath the glass. I felt like it really needed something, so I went to the antique store, and I'll, some, I'll show you guys a picture of the other paper choices that they had. And um, I saw this one and thought it was super beautiful. It's from the 1940s, and I thought it would go perfectly with this table, you know, with the whole gold theme. It's just super luxurious, and I loved it. So that is my makeup collection. I hope you enjoyed that. It's pretty small, and that's how I want to keep it. Anything else is too much for me. I only got one face, so thanks for watching that. And next I'm gonna show you the items that I decluttered. Okay, so for the items that I've decluttered from my collection, I'm just gonna share with you guys what they are and what I've pulled out and what I'm gonna be giving away to friends and family and just parting ways with, it's, it's time. So first off, um, I have these two. These are Elizabeth Arden lipsticks. These guys are gonna go. Don't, I have colors like these in my collection. I never use them. They're not bad. They're just not my favorites. So those are going to go. I have this little buxom pink bubble gum. This one needs to just probably go in the garbage. It's super old and I don't need it. I have a couple of liquid lipsticks by Anastasia. I really just don't like these. I'm, I'm kind of over the liquid lipstick thing. I think many of you are as well. I have another one as well. I don't know. And the colors are so similar. This one's soft lilac and the other is Madison. So those are going to go. Then I have a couple of Laura Mercier. These are glossés. This is the color Fuchsia Mauve. Super pretty. It just, it got kind of icky and starting to dry out because I don't wear it enough. Again, you can kind of see the color similarities look pretty in the package just not so much on me and I have this one I love this one so much this is a uh, nude rose I would repurchase this honestly it's super pretty so that one's gonna go in the garbage it's real old another liquid lipstick this is from Lime Crime I actually don't mind this formula it's called Buffy I just don't wear liquid lipstick so it's not that any of these are terrible, they stayed in my collection and survived a couple of declutters, but it's time to say goodbye. 
And this chubby stick from Clinique, Moisturizing Lip Color Balm. I, I don't wear balms really, so that's gonna go. And then I have a couple of eye pencils. One's from Elizabeth Arden. This is the Java lip pencil. Java eye pencil? This is an eye pencil, you guys. <laughs> it's an eye pencil. It's gonna go because I have other brown eye pencils that I enjoy more. And this black um, pencil from Essence is gonna go as well. I don't think I've even used these, so it's time to say sayonara. Um, and this little powder here from Laura Mercier, I got it in like a set. It's bronze 03. It's way too dark for me. I've never even touched it. I know there are some people in my life that would appreciate that more than I do. This little NYX Infinite Shadow Stick, I bought this thinking it was going to be amazing and it's definitely not amazing. I don't like this. It has like zero pigmentation, like not pretty. Don't like it. It's going to go bye bye. And I have this little Joe Fresh palette that I got for my Canada Day Get Ready With Me. It doesn't, it doesn't work for me. Um, I have better eyeshadow. For someone who likes a more natural look all the time, this is great. Like, I know some ladies in my life that would love this and I'm going to give it to them. I used it once and never again. I have better quality that I appreciate more, so I'm going to pass that on. And I have the Energy Noir by Tarte. This has a blush and some uh, eyeshadow and a highlighter in it. It's real pretty. I loved it when I first got it. I just have better formulas of these colors. So it's time to say goodbye. It's a beautiful palette though. I think somebody will appreciate this and actually use it. And this Anarchy face case. I'm torn on this because it was one of my very first high-end palettes. I did love it at the time. It's just a little bit awkward with the with the dual like packaging because you got your eyeshadow on one side and you got your blush on the other and the blush is always hard to get open. Blush and highlighters. It was great for the time, but it's all good things must come to an end, so I'm saying goodbye to that. So that is three, six, nine, nine lip products, two eye pencils, an eyeshadow stick, two palettes, a powder and a small eyeshadow. So that's the mini declutter that I did for my collection. Everything that I have in there now is going to stay. And we're only going to build on with things that we love. So that's where I am at. And I would always love your comments. Please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye everybody. Mm -hmm.